Alrighty guys, well we are here again at Lynx Hope Island and today I have some more products for you. I just realized I still got my sunglasses on. That was a bit silly, isn't it? <clears throat> today I have some more products for you from Global Golf Tech Solutions. So these products from Global Golf Tech Solutions are uh, marked at the Garmin R10 market um, and they're specifically made for the Garmin R10. So I have three products today um, which essentially do the same thing, just a couple of different variations in them uh, that you guys can take a look at. One thing I will mention is that throughout the videos that I've done and throughout the things that people have watched and the feedback that I've gotten, people are really struggling with the distances with the driver on the Garmin R10. I personally haven't struggled with it, but each time I set it up, I'm pretty meticulous in making sure that it's set up in the right way. Now I did a video on how to set it up and to make sure that it's level, and I think what happens is that people think that when they put the Garmin R10 down, even on what they would assume is a flat surface, that it's level. When actually, in fact, I've done it myself, there are times when even though you think it's level, if you went and put a level on it, you would see that it's out and that is going to affect your numbers with the Garmin R10. This, that's where this product actually comes into play. So I'm gonna show you my favorite first, right? So my favorite first is the new American colored, American flag. I'm gonna call this the Garmin Range Buddy, but it also kind of looks like an eagle, which is pretty cool. So um, the American Garmin Range Buddy, is, is right here and what you'll see on this is it has a spirit level there on the top so it's a white spirit level it also has an alignment stick for your garment but that spirit level will allow you that even on a flat surface make sure that that little air bubble there is going to be sitting in the middle the moment that I did that in my backyard I actually started to see longer drives and more consistent spin rates um, from using one of these even though before I was setting my Garmin R10 up on on my uh, well, it was a flat surface, right on the tiles out the back. So having this is essential for your Garmin R10 if you're a Garmin R10 user, and this one is my favorite. So it still comes with the alignment stick. It also comes with the spirit level on the top. It comes with these little feet so you can screw them to make sure that you're actually level um, because different surfaces are gonna be, you know, even your concrete could have like tiny little waves in it that you can't see. That's what that fixes up. Make sure you take a look at these guys. They're all gonna be in the description below linked in there. The next one is, if you're not into that, it's very basic um, in terms of its design, very sleek, global golf tech solutions there, um, and it's basically just a black piece, and you still got your alignment stick aid there, your Garmin's going to sit straight on there, it's still got your spirit level, and both of those go for the same price of $39.99 AUD. Um, so that's Australian dollars, which I don't exactly know what that is in an American conversion, probably 20 bucks or, or $17 or something like that. Maybe 22, but whatever, you can find it out. The third one, um, which I also really like, and I particularly like this one for the range, um, because it has a screen, right? If you can, I'm holding a screen. And the screen just simply slots in here like that. And if you're on a grass range, like we have a grass range here behind us, every time you hit the grass and it comes back to the unit, that screen is going to stop the grass from actually hitting the unit itself. And the Garmin unit just sits in here um, and essentially works the same as this guy. Now, with this one on mine, you don't see a spirit level here, but they all do come with a spirit level. This is just a prototype from Global Golf Tech Solutions for me to test out and do this review. So. That being said, I want to show you guys and actually give you guys some proof that when I hit my driver off this, I am getting accurate numbers. So my general swing speed is around about 110 to 112 mile an hour. And on course, I would generally see drives anywhere from 245 to 260. If I've got the wind behind me or if there's a bit of a hill or something like that, sure, I can get out there to 280 and even longer if it's a stronger wind. But the general average, if I was to hit on a still day on a flat hole, is going to be around about 255 to 260 meters. Sorry, 245 to 260 meters, depending on rollout and all that sort of stuff. So check this, uh, I've got the Garmin R10 set up there. I'm just gonna show you a couple of shots here that I've done at home um, into my Spawnia net, which if you haven't seen that Spawnia review as well, I'm gonna link it up here, make sure you check it out. And you can see with evidence that these things actually help give you more accurate distance when you're hitting them into a net. So you can see it firsthand, and if you guys aren't seeing these numbers from the same swing speeds, um, then you should really invest in one of these. So let's flick to it now. I don't 
10.3. All right, so there you go. So you've seen it with the driver. The reason why I've just done it with the driver there is because that tends to be what people comment on is that they're struggling with the driver numbers. A couple of them do it with the four iron as well. The four iron numbers are the exact same. Um, you'll see that you'll get true numbers by using one of these, making sure that it's level and doing the setup the correct way with the correct distances. Also, I will note that since I had the Spornia and I've used it, um, the black net actually seems to make a bit of a difference in giving me more accurate numbers. Now that is just a thing that I'm presuming. I don't actually know that as fact, um, but however it seems to work out, I feel like I'm getting more accurate numbers with a black net or a white ball going into a black net. So just something to think about. I don't know if it's fact, it just seems to be. So if you haven't checked these guys out, make sure you do. Global Golf Tech Solutions, they're gonna be linked in the description below. Um, check yours out today. These guys were nice enough to send me these so that I can review them and put them up on the channel um, But yeah, I think I'll definitely personally be going with this one because It's just awesome um, What I actually didn't say that I like about this one is you can fold it down It has a little hole here so you can put it on a carabiner on your bag for the range um, And then you do get that screen protector as well. So with the screen protector this one goes for $59.99 um, But they'll all be linked in the description for you to check out the prices in your country and uh, yeah that's it for today guys short and sweet but if you've got a Garmin R10 you need one of these to make sure that you're level and uh, let's get at it <laughs>